Now it's time for the tissue system where these anatomical geometry bones and muscles collides with the tissue geometry. Now this is the tissue geometry. Let me hide the bones and to do that let's go to the tissue system. Once you select it, it prompts to select the tissue geometry. Then the muscles. For that, just go and select the Franken muscles. Accept the selection. And then the anatomical bone objects. Select two skeletons. Now a tissue geometry has got created. Let's dive into the tissue system geometry. If you see this network, it collects the information from skin geometry where we have selected at the time of creation. Then deforming muscles on the anchors it's having all those flex jiggles on all those informations with surface triangles and then we have then we have the static muscles then deforming bones Submissions in static bones. Yeah, we can select the object merge. Obviously, if bone deform has animations, then if you come to the tissue solver. The tissue solver has got created, which has inputs from the skin layer. This solid embedding can adjust the solid surface triangle counts, then collisions, and for the bones also. It has collisions, we can enable those bone collisions. And it has the property for the muscles. For the simulation, it has substates, collision process. And can have a look on this collision radius. If you see the interior of this tissue geometry, you can see the tits solid embedded. Let's check in the wide frame. Yeah, you can see the states where you can control these states. You can see the white states. Say, suppose that anatomical bone object for that you can control in the bones tab itself, go to the solid embedding, you can see the changes in the viewport, yeah let me undo it, and for the muscles you can change in the Franken muscle object itself, those surface triangle sizes everything, mm. let's have a look on this simulation. It's not colliding with the muscles. Let's stop the process. This is because the geometry is not having sufficient divisions. Means the surface triangles. So let's increase the surface triangle counts. 
from thousand to ten thousand and even subdivisions also and then the simulations also let's increase the sub steps collision process also and you can select how the output has to be uh, for me I don't want this muscles bones so let me save the simulation to the disk now I have exported the cache and and let me load from the disk we can have a look over here you can see the wrinkles over here you can control all those things uh, you can but there's a gap in the model itself so it's deforming as like this let me go to the preview camera and, and let me check through the wireframe also and take a flip book In my model you can see there's a lot of gaps between the muscle and the tissue itself and even between the bones and the tissues. It has to wrap almost closest to the muscles and the bones and uh, make sure the muscles and the bones and even tissues all should not get penetrate each other and try experimenting with all the parameters. Since I have done only leg part for the customized skin model. You can apply these techniques for the remaining muscles of full character. Soon you get the output. Hope so you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you.